All of them just want squeeze one tits some all of them just want suck Have a next one on the phone says she need that dick So the next she run out her luck Why? Cause the one young cool it tick Cause she can't get me, she a moody bitch Young and wild so I'm moving quick And done for a style when I shoot and miss and say Wet, like tsunami you want me, now you pull on it Anyway, you see the John, you a boom off it So you grip on my belt and pull off it Cause you wet, like tsunami You want me, now you pull on it Anyway, you see the John, you a boom off it So you grip on my belt and pull off it She needs Stephanie, says she pray for me Dark black chains with the two C dip on it Hot gun setting when she step in, yeah she dip on it Chick on Remy and the Henny and she take my lip any time I say I'm ready, she a second it Now my name in a second, she a beckon it If her pussy is a weapon, me a dead from it Me just hope say me no lose my body head from it <laughs> Your body a enchant me, no little miss Watch all the wine and a guan, so when my spit the breaks So far into the face of the voice, so you don't know say a cogency For the cogency reacts channel And today, different reaction from the channel We have man rejects woman after finding her only fans account upon the poor man's reacts podcast channel yeah big him up i watch this channel a lot still he has a lot of good videos good reactions so and i said i wanted a reaction video to do this morning i didn't see any drill videos so i saw this i was like i'm gonna react to this because this has a f funny thumbnail and a funny um a funny title so hopefully the entire video you know is entertaining enough to where i can have a good reaction for the channel but before we jump into it hit the like button jump in the comments and so whoa my god you hear that crack and i'm not cutting that out either you know that's staying in the edit and subscribe subscribe to me subscribe so we can hit 5k subs at 4.5 but we need to hit 5 and make it live you don't know so jump into the comments like subscribe and let's go he found my of of course it'll be a light-skinned girl you see what i'm saying man none of the none of my dark-skinned melanated queens ain't doing this you know what i'm saying if i say to my mama melanin queen baby you know i know you, you're making your bag on the only fans but you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have kids. We're gonna have, you know, reputation and all of these things. We can't have you just selling your body on the internet, man. For two ninety nine, five ninety nine. dollars What? A happy meal? What? For a happy meal and somebody can't see you naked, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop that. And he's packing up his leave. Yup. He's out of here. <laughs> One more time. One more time. I'm out of here. Good job, my brother. We yeah, rockin' with you. Pours over with money. You. <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be as bad as OnlyFans. If you tell your girlfriend not to dress a certain way, not to hang out with certain people, not to post bikini pictures, and she chooses to do it anyway, she's basically saying those things are more important to her than your relationship. When you set boundaries, <laughs> her initial reaction is going to call you Wait, 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 wait. So, I, on the right, you saw her talking about but dad bods are in, but they said dad bods are in. He found my OnlyFans page, but they said dad bods are in. Oh, she's trying to say he has a dad bod. So, like, why is he complaining about my OnlyFans if he has a dad bod? Girl, stop that. You have an OnlyFans. You're in no position to be touching shit about anything. You have OnlyFans and you're trying to be in a relationship. You're delusional. More important to her than your relationship. When you set boundaries, her initial reaction is going to call you insecure or to call you controlling. And your initial response should be, I'm not controlling. You can do whatever you want to do. Just yeah. know you're going to be single. Your attention and your time. Fucks. I said that all the time. You can do whatever you want to do, you know. Just not with me. I'm just not going to allow you to do certain things with me and around me. And while people know, say, I am with you. No, you're not going to do that, you know. I hurt my... No, 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 no. It's not even like I care about people's opinion or my reputation necessarily. But I don't want certain things on my record. So you, you have to fix up, baby girl. I want to, man. I'm as important, gentlemen. Don't waste it on women that prioritize posting bikini pictures over your relationship. Fucks. I ain't even gonna lie. You look like you can pick me up. I've been staring at you. You look real strong. I ain't that strong. Right. He go. Uh. I brought so good. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Are you texting your boyfriend? No. 
I have 50 million boyfriends. That means you're a hoe? That means you're a hoe? A hoe. A hoe. What's a hoe? <laughs> Stop <laughs> wanking to that <laughs> That means you're a hoe, you see? That kid know, bro. How you how him know from such a young age, say 50 million boyfriend? Then you are oh that not for going 50 million? No, uh uh-uh. uh. Stop that, stop that, stop that. Weird shit on the internet. It is crazy how a regular 15 year old has access to more tits than King Solomon did with his 700 wives. And what's crazier is that social that's fact still so sh- the internet so that's why i don't scroll on social media anymore you know bro like when i say oh follow me on ig and then i might see some people follow me and then i'm not posting anything they're probably like yo why you tell me to follow you if you're not posting i only post when i re- really have something to post because if it's not posting i'm not scrolling on ig bro because ig is just twerking and bikini pics and you know you know booty shots and bending over and 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 just a lot of sexual imagery bro is all over instagram bro even from the front way bro is it's cleavage and you know zooming in on the lips and making them extra shiny is like they might overplay they might over sexualize the thing them bro so you as a man you gotta have a natural sexual reaction to it if you're a straight man which I hope you are. <laughs> you understand? So if you are, you have, have a natural reaction to it. That's why I stay away from it, bro. Because if you know the fight, where you're going to get into, it's easier for just say, yo, I'm going to join the fight then. If I that, I'm going to fight, I'm not going to join the fight. Social media platforms have basically said they'd rather have your 15-year-old son watching softcore corn on TikTok and Instagram facts, than facts. watching Andrew Tate video. Andrew Tate came along and said, be masculine, be disciplined, do things when you don't feel like doing them so you can provide the people around you a life worth living. And coincidentally, within 24 hours, every social media platform said he's harmful. Somebody shut him up. Yeah, Did you Clean you... your shit. What? Clean your shit. No, you're shorty. Yeah, okay. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a lot of reasons why I'm laughing right now. One, white girl was like, claim your shit. Claim your shit. What? <laughs> Bitch, ain't nobody trying to claim you. Claim, claim your shit. Claim your shit, bitch. Ain't nobody trying to claim your ass, bro. This guy looks like he barely even gets any, and he's still not trying to claim her, bro. What's going on? Six buzz. Big up all the Canadian people, let me know. Claim your shit. Are oh, you shorty? Yeah, okay. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Whoa! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Looking into the camera, bro. Girls are distractions. Straight up. Yes. Unless you're in a, I think a relationship is a distraction unless you're ready for that. You yes. feel me? I know how much dedication and commitment that takes, so I wouldn't even go that route down that route yet. You feel nah. me? But like that ass, like bro, that shit is distract, like distracting, like that ass, like. That shit would let a girl can hit you up, talking about they want to do this with you tonight, and your dead ass could be considered like, should I be streaming or should I do this? Yeah. Get to the streaming. Get like, to the streaming. It's kind of true. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That shit is always going to be there. Yeah. So, like, the grind is really what's going to be hard, though. Exactly. If anybody. Fuck still. Hey, I never expect Kaiser to not to come out and be spitting all that real stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, fuck still. Okay, you know, we we'll always see Kai doing the jokey, jokey stuff, the blue face and Christian type shit, but hey, he's right, bro. He's right. It's a distraction, dog. Because guess what? Yes, you're going to hit me up tonight, and then say, for instance, we either have, we we'll do the thing tonight. What's going to happen after we do the thing? I'm not going to be any richer, any stronger, any smarter, any faster, any better, any, any, any. Bro, I, I'm literally not going to be better or it's not going to benefit me in any tangible way in my life, in any way, shape or form, bro. 
So that goes to show you, say, it's really for reproduction, bro. So you, <laughs> you understand? Unless it's time for that. But the, obviously, you know, Kojin say, I have my girlfriend. Because, you know, I'm a lover boy, bro. I need my love. But in terms of, you know, the one bag of woman thing, bro, they ain't going to benefit you, bro. You are benefit them by trying to give them all like, your love and your attention while them just take it. Yeah, you need to sit down and make yourself worth all the love and worth all the attention. You understand? Which is why, as him say, don't worry about, oh, should I stream or go link this girl? Get to the stream, bro. And the girl, I go walk home, link you. And he tells you you should. She go walk home on your stream. You see it on Kaisen that channel and Aiden Ross and all of these guys, bro. That they have women, girls, all from all over Instagram, all over the world. Wanting to go on their streams, bro. Because they know what comes with it. They know the clout, the, 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 everything that comes with it, bro. So make yourself worth the attention and the love, you know? Be trying to get laid. Don't listen to them. That's hedonistic nonsense. Chasing women is a vice. And I don't care how good of a pickup artist you are. It takes time and money. And yes. why would you waste hours of your time and hundreds of your dollars trying to sleep with a woman you don't even think is respectful enough to keep in your life? Unpopular advice. Find a woman that has good morals, respects your leadership, and have a bunch of beautiful babies. A 99-year-old. That's true still, but a lot of these girls nowadays, they don't even want babies, bro. So it's like you telling us young guys to do that. We'll go out and we'll find a young girl, a nice girl, and then she's like, oh, I just want one. I just want two. I'm like, bro, what type of lame ass shit is this? So I'm being a nice guy doing what I need to do, not being an asshole, not being this, and I still can't get what I want? Nah, bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We gonna have a lot of these kids, man. We ain't having to man just divorced his wife of 77 years because of infidelity that happened 60 years ago whoa found letters exchanged between his wife and former lover in an old chest drawer days before christmas when he confronted his 96 year old wife she admitted to the affair that happened six decades ago despite wow. her best efforts to convince the husband to stick with their marriage antonio proceeded with the paperwork once finalized they will become the oldest divorcees on record what would you do in this situation 99 and 96 when she was 30 she was taking dicks <laughs> yo 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 it was the man's wife well ex-wife so yeah fuck her we can't talk about it what no nah, brother i'm mm, would i do the same thing probably not bro i'm 99 96 mega dead tomorrow anyway like i'm not i'm not about to divorce you baby girl like <laughs> mega divorce you and then next week at the funeral like come on how much longer did he have to go? Technically, I'm supposed to go to 120, but I'm white. So he's not going to go that far. You understand? So, hey, it's, it give them a little excitement in them little last days, you know? Like a little, little argument. Like a what? Like a little vibe. No, I true, man, I true. But she should not do that still. You see what I mean? They would do that and just live with you like, no, no, go on. Like, everything is all right. No, brother, I can't do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What in the dark I come out, not the light I you say me of girl, I you say me too bright. She have man. Babe, how did peach cobbler taste it? It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> what would you do if I couldn't cook? You'd be single. Can you cook? That's irrelevant. No, can you cook though? I mean, can you fight? <laughs> can you let's fight? Exactly, let's ask pointless questions. How is it a pointless question? No, you. Because that's your job. What's my job? To make sandwiches. <laughs> How am I going to fight off? As in, he, he's doing it. He went on that show because he, he's seen her clips before. He's seen some of the shit that she said before, especially the Andrew Tate episode. I know he's seen that. And he don't like the way how she's up there all hidey tidy on her high horse trying to be all feminism and all of this bullshit. So he went there with an agenda. He went there saying, I'm about to just shut down every single thing that this girl has to say. I'm going to be facetious. I'm going to be condescending. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to get under her skin. Yeah, because he could say it's your job to cook. But instead, he said it's your job to make sandwiches. Two totally different statements, but kind of talk about the same thing. But it got it to get two different reactions from her, though. Of course, bro. Of course. Telling somebody to cook and make sandwiches 
you know, cooking your chef, making sandwiches, bro. A five year old can make a sandwich. Sandwiches. How am I gonna fight off the intruders if you don't make sandwiches? I need sustenance. City boy, <laughs> city boy. Too many city women boy. want a BBL but don't know how to make a BLT. W Myron. <laughs> They want a BBL, but don't want to. They, they don't know how to make a BLT. Hey, remember, if you've been watching my channel, right? Every time I saw this clip of Cheyenne, I would have said, Oh, look at the legs, look at the red. Nah, bro, no more of that, bro. No light skins at all, bro. Melanated queens only. The maximum amounts of melanin only. Yeah? No Asian things, no light skin things. No, no gray things. No, none of that, bro. Melanin only. Yeah? Caribbean, African, and South American only. Yeah? That's where it's at right now, bro. I swear to you. BL, but don't know how to make a BLT. W Myron. Tell me a fact. God made the perfect girl for Adam, uh -huh. and she still did him dirt. Oh my <laughs> dear Jesus, even the Bible said these hoes ain't loyal. Facts. And I'm not crazy religious, but always remember, the original sin of man was going against what he knew was right and wrong under the leadership of a woman. You're gonna roast me for this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I've been reading a lot about, you know, the Bible and, you know, the story and... What it really symbolized and everything. So let's go about what let's read what he said. And we'll read. Let's listen to what he said. And I'm not crazy religious, but always remember the original sin of man was going against what he knew was right and wrong under the leadership of a woman. Going against what was right or wrong under the leadership of a woman. Mm, this is where ah uh, cause I don't want to just agree and make it seem like the leadership of a woman is just wrong off rip because it's leadership from a woman there have been wonderful female leaders you know what i'm saying women that lead men to do great things you understand and if you have a great mother you have a great leader because your mother is your first leader your first teacher your first everything that's from a woman you understand what i mean so you can't i don't want to just say oh from the the, the the guidance of a woman and she lead him down the wrong path I don't know, bro. The Bible is a weird ass book fam with a lot of contradictions and a lot of, you know what I'm saying, true stories, but also fables, exaggerations, you understand, hyperboles, things like that. So, you know, anyway, 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 I'm getting to, I'm, I'm trying to start thinking about the Bible. We're thinking about women. You're going to roast me for this, but I'm going to take the loyal man. You know why? 50k per year? You know Regular why? guy, five foot eight? Because you know why? Because, because you're 34. Behind oh, every. No. Hold oh. on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it because you're 34? Oh, uh, no. Not because she's 34. Yes, her options are less. But you're. No, yeah, he is right. It's when they get to that age and their options are less and they realize, oh, shit. All of that, that hyping that I was doing. For all of these guys that were on this level when I was 25. No, they're 30. I'm 30. <laughs> and they're still trying to go for 25 year olds. So like, what am I going to do as a 30 year old, you know, hot girl, you know, unmarried and childless. You understand? She, I'll go say, she, I'll go take the loyal man. No, because time is running out. You don't have time to waste. You don't have... You don't have the feel to play out and say, oh, let me see what he's talking about and then him and then him and go on this date and that date. No, you don't have time for that anymore. You're 34. You're soon dead. You understand? So, hey, she got to get it sorted out, nigga. Well, I feel that still. So, ladies, hey, I ain't going to say nothing. You know, I'm saying negative because I only speak positivity. But if you're out here and you're young and you're doing your hype thing yeah enjoy it while it lasts because once you reach a certain age diggers is not check it for you no more <laughs> but as a man bro women go always check for us bro as in if you make it if you are your thing and you dip on a certain level you'll always be all right bro so you don't have to worry about women because you're 34 behind oh, every no. hold on oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Is this this your daughter? <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. It's an evil world we live in. <laughs> Bro, stop posting shit like that on the internet, bro. Nobody needs to know when you're ready to have sex. When you're ready to be railed. When you're freshly shaven. Like, these are the reasons why I don't scroll on these apps, bro. Because it's just like softcore corn, sensual, hedonistic bullshit, dog. It's just always some sexual undertone to everything, dog. And it's just tiring after that point. I'm straight. They not, think that I was pretty. No, you're not cute at all. Lying to this man about his child as you believe it to be, threatening, a, telling, lying to him, telling him he, you had an abortion of his child, knowing that it was his child. Let me see the results. Playing games. Give you this. Yo, the man said, uh. Father God, Father God, I bet them fight me so hard. I love you, things I mean, I come hard. Brother, what say, Father God? You know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In that, Judge Matis. She can tell that other man all that. That's not his child. Have a good day. Bro, I find she I try find the, the 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 tear gland for start bring out the tears now, you know. She can't trick me, bro. I fake cry myself. I know what it is when you feel the tear coming out, but it's like it I try go away. But you try grab onto the tear, so you try do a little feeling in your face or do a little face or a little muscle. And then you start cry even more. She don't care, bro. She's not crying cause she's actually hurt, bro. She already had sex with the other nigga, bro. That's the thing. When a woman, I got to have one man and then cheap on the man, right? Have sex with another man, get pregnant by that other man, but still while well convince the first man that is his child, that is the maximum level of evil. All right? I don't want to be around that. That is maximum level of devil work. Yeah? Real shaitanship. You understand? I ain't dealing with that, bro. And uh, any woman will do that, bro. Keep them away from me, bro. That woman will kill you. That woman will watch you die. You hear me I tell you? Any woman will go cheap on her, man. Get pregnant by another man. And then still try to convince her first man. Say that's his baby. Mm-mm, bro. Pack her up, bro. She's for the... S what? Bro, send her in a suitcase, bury her alive, fam, like, send her to the, the, to, 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 to the banished land, to the forbidden lands, bro, like, uh-uh. Them thing they can't run, send her to the shadow realms. Tell that other man all that. That's not his child. That's not his Have child. a good day. It's crazy because a man will be called a deadbeat for not spending enough time or money on his kids. And that's fair. I get it. But a woman can literally end a potential life without the father's consent. And society will say she chose what's best for her. Yes. Exactly. Because her choice. Her choice. They always talk about black lives matter. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, fuck it. I'm saying it. Them talk about black lives matter when black women are the direct source of majority of black lives dying in America. You know why? From abortions. Black women commit the most abortions in the country. In the world. And then you're going to say black lives matter. Say black lives matter. Why you keep killing black lives? Just the double standard, bro. So I, I don't listen to none of that shit. None of that feminism shit. And that Black Lives Matter shit. All y'all niggas just on the internet talking shit. Y'all can suck my dick. Hello, I'm here. Hi, how old are you? I'm 38. I'm about to be 38. What's your disagreement? Years. My disagreement is with the qualities of a high value man. I don't. I didn't hear one thing. Um, listening to your live streams, um, 
does that include a strong erection? <laughs> and that's an honest question. <laughs> because a high value man of an older age can Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, yo. R.I.P. to the GOAT, man. R.I.P. to the GOAT, man. I don't know why they poisoned my nigga K S. But hey man. I'ma see you in the I'ma see you in the in the realms, bro. I'ma see him, bro. Nah. If you never know, I was watching Kevin Summers almost like every day, bro. His lives, his clips, his videos were just entertainment and informational. Informational? Is that the word? There was a lot of information in the videos. There's a lot to learn from. You understand? In how society views men and how they view the value of men and how you can increase that value and things like that. And then how to use that to get women. It's a lot, bro. But that clip talking about, is a strong penis included in that as well? No. Because there's a lot of women out there that are with CEOs, with business owners, with artists, with even some athletes that they ain't getting it up like that, bro. They have to use pills. They have to use gels. They have to do all these kinds of things just to maybe even get a little, uh. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, not, it's not going up like that. And for a lot of them, even if it is getting up like that, it's probably like three inches, bro. So, like, it's getting up for what? Three inches? Uh, but what? He's rich. So, she's taking it. And she ain't going to say nothing. She's not going to complain. Unlike you, 38 years old. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, oh, the man need for can. Uh, and then where the high value man of our older age he's not gonna be able to have the stronger erection babe that don't matter you think that 19 year old where he's promising her 100k she's worrying about yeah he's gonna give me 100k but his dick not gonna be hard like what bitch shut up and i know that 30 year old woman knows that as well women know you know they just try to beat her on the bush and make it seem like it's not what it is what do you think about the phrase life is about choices and trade-off? I agree. I love Kevin Samuels. I feel like that was definitely a message like that he would preach a lot. And it's true. What was it like meeting Kevin? Did He's you, much taller in person. And did you take any of his advice? I felt like I started to think about my life and what I wanted to do moving forward, which kind of, I don't want to say it's scary. I don't want to judge it, but like he talked about a lot of uncomfortable truth about the perception of men and like family structure and my situation. And it was a, a lot of difficult truths that were really hard to hear. And I feel like I started thinking more more of a business mentality after I spoke with Kevin and I think he was very kind I listened to him a lot when I was pregnant and I felt like his message often went missed because Yo. he was very kind I listened to him a lot when I was pregnant is YG her father wait Brittany Renner got pregnant by YG hold on bro I'm not going to look it up in a dog but that's that's crazy Pregnant. And I felt like his message often went missed because they would sensationalize him being hard on women. I've heard him be hard on men. I've heard both. The internet's gonna run with what's the most viral. I loved meeting him. He was a fellow Pisces like myself. He was very charming. He's very funny. Very open-minded. He was just like tough love. So I miss him. You know. All right, Peter Goat. Hey. Long live the goat Kevin Samuels. The goat. If there's one thing his life has taught us is that no matter what your age is, you can still have an impact on the world. Stan Lee made his first comic book at 40 years old. Samuel Jackson got his role in Pulp Fiction at 46 years old, which started his career. It's never too late to leave your mark. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or L and give me the HBO special. That's the Helper Brother House special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time. Nah, nah, nah. You see why I had to bring this on the channel, bro? So many clips with so many thoughts and different reactions behind it. I couldn't help it. I just knew. I just knew, bro. Just react to it on the channel, bro. They're gonna love it. You understand? Even if they don't love it, you love it. You understand? Cause I told you already, bro. The, the one bugger drill, drill, drill every day. Kill, kill, kill every day. I don't really want to do that, bro. That's negative energy. I want to focus on positive energy, bro. Peace, positivity, prosperity, and protection. That's what I'm focusing on. You understand? So, you hit, help me 
with the help the HBO special, the help a brother out special. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button, jump in the comments, and subscribe. Subscribe to me. Subscribe. So we can hit 5k at 4.5, but we need to hit 5 and make it live. You don't know. So coach I say, and I'm about this motherfucker, man. Some of them just want sweet sponsors, some of them just want suck. Have a next one on the phone, so she need that dick, so the next three run out of luck. Why? Cause the one young cool it tick, cause she can't get me, she a moody bitch. Young and wild, so I'm moving quick and done for a style, man, I shoot and miss. Wet, like tsunami. You want me, now you're punani. Anyway, you see the john, you a boom off it. So you grip on my belt and pull off it. Cause you're wet, like tsunami. You want me in a your punani Anyway you see the john you a boom off it So you grip on my belt and pull off it Her name Stephanie Say she pray for me Dark black chains with the two C dip on it Hot girl setting when she step in yeah she dip on it Sick on Remy and the Henny and she take my lip yeah. Anytime I say I'm ready she a second it Now my name in a second she a beckon it If her pussy is a weapon me a dead from it me just hope say me no lose my body head from it <laughs> Your body I enchant me no little miss Watch all the wine and I go answer when my spit the